Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just gotten through most of Orton Tag, I want to say. Most of Orton Tag's more or less cleared out, except for here. This is where we place all the bodies we collected, I'm assuming, because I assume this is where they were broken apart due to the name Sundering. I'm assuming that's the case. Anyway, since I have all the body parts, I could bring them back together here. I just don't know what happens next after that, so I guess we'll find out. I have everyone more or less set up to fight, should that be a thing we have to do. I'll get on it. The altar in front of you, though broken, tingles with energy. Ooh, tingles. Okay, uh, place the body parts on the altar. You Whoa! restored that which was cut asunder and revealed my hiding place. Speak your intention. Seek you vengeance? So I could get a reward out of this, or I could just kill them. Interesting. Didn't quite expect that. The reward's probably pretty good, but... Then I'm basically letting it free to run around the deep roads in Orton Taig for like ever. Which is probably not good. And since I'm trying to help everyone, it's probably a good idea to do good things. So, no deal. I'm going to destroy you for good. Not cowardice. A fight you want. A fight you shall have. Okay. Well, here we go then. Oh! Oh, I'm stunned. I'm stunned hard. Oh, geez. Okay, well, the Fade Beast is not that big an issue. Ow. I say as I then get set on fire. Okay, well, I am stunned again. Jesus. Alright. Now we just fight it out. Since I used all of my abilities. And it's done. He has been defeated. But we get nothing. We get nothing out of that. There's no loot from it, really? Wow. Wow. Um, okay. Well, that sucks. I was hoping for something more. Huh. But okay. Well, at least we did the good thing. We got some experience out of it to boot. So, hey, win-win. I guess. <laughs> I'm still a little confused. But, alright, deep rounds. This is what I came out of go over here. Rux Cave. I've already been over there. So I guess we go across the bridge and get over there. Into that little cave over here. Since we cleared all of this. Just an easy walk. Unless there's something else over here like more spiders. A lot more spiders. that then run away. Huh.
Interesting. Okay. Well. Ooh! Level up and journeyman silverite rune. Well, how could I turn that down? Um, no, we're not going to do anything with your specialization points yet. But I am... going to do something with your strength. And dexterity to up that to 18. So you have a little bit more room to do stuff. Which I think, yeah, that requires at least 18 dexterity anyway. Uh, Two-handed. There's critical strike. Two-handed strength. Reducing the penalties to attack and defense from powerful swings. That would actually be very good, considering he constantly runs this mode. Gaining a bonus to damage, but suffering penalties to attack and defense. This would reduce those penalties. And Indomitable is also good. Well, if that's the case, I don't see why not. But he doesn't need more strength for that. He needs more strength for everything else. So maybe we put these points into willpower so he has a bigger stamina pool. And then do this. Yeah, there you go. Now he's sitting at a just a little under a half. That ain't too bad. I think that was a good idea. I think it was a great idea, considering. Alrighty. And away we go. We got a save already in place, which means... Okay. That's why all the spiders are running away. And they're all corrupted, which doesn't make me feel much better either. I am getting beat on here. Okay. That's something, at least. And everyone's dead. <sighs> Being stunned in the first bit of combat didn't help. So, I'm gonna not do that. Back to the autosave. Alrighty. And... This triggers them. I'm just going to sit right here. Oh... That explains most of the issues. Some came from behind. Oh, nope, I want here. I want to deal with them in a group as much as I can. Okay. Alright. We're all dealing with a bleed. But now we're done. Good. All right. Now that we're further ahead, right, I'm dealing right. with that Genlock emissary. I'm not letting him continue on. Oh, you bastard! You absolute bastard! Get back here! Ha ha! Bitch! There we go. Yeah, second time was a charm, once I realized what tactics they were taking. Alright. So that's dealt with. Seems to be something over there. And a spider queen! That's probably not good. And spiders all over. Oh, okay. So the tactic here is to deal with the additionals as much as possible. No more? Okay, now we go after the queen. Oh, 
Alright. Get off of him. And now we're stunned again. And... Okay. It seems to be stuck in this area. Interesting. And now we're stunned again. Okay. I now notice that she's running low on magic, so let's give her Lyrium Potion. And now I'm screwed up. Oh, she's also in trouble. Okay. It would be very nice if you stop piling on me. Uh, and the stuns don't help either. Come on. Now more on the Spider Queen. And we're stunned again. Okay. I'm assuming another wave. Yep. It was, in fact, another wave. Okay. Try to be merciful on spiders? Really? Ah, and there is the last phase. Goodbye. Corrupted Spider Queen, Bloodline, Silk Weaved Gloves, and a whole lot of gold. Alright. Bloodline is a war axe. With dexterity... Spirit resistance, armor penetration, and damage to dark spawn. The stained surface of this repurposed broad axe speaks to the lives and legacies that have fallen to it. Shamanistic runes across the cutting edge are as ugly as the work it is called to do. Interesting. I'm definitely taking that. The silk weaved gloves. I'm assuming that's definitely something for a mage. Yep, I was I was correct in that manner. It was for nature damage. These gloves are impossibly light and comfortable, but merely brushing against the surface causes immediate irritation. Not exactly damaging the handle, but they are clearly weapons, not fashion. Alrighty. Well. What the? Smith's heart. Additional fire resistance, but negative one dexterity. Droplets of molten metal that fall from the forges of the Dwarven Smiths are often collected and worn for good luck. This one is steel, roughly shaped like a clenched fist. Cool. I'm taking it. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Smith's heart. I wonder who to give that to. That? That might be more of an Ogryn thing. That might be up more Ogryn's alley basically negates the thing that I just did for him. But hey, <laughs> it's up his alley. That's the important part. Alright, and this is Winter's Breath. What was this again? It was cold damage and resistance. Okay. So her uh hmm I don't see. I don't see a point in changing that yet. If anything, I can just put this away. Bronca's journal. This looks like someone's journal. Cover is battered and torn, but intact. As you leaf through the desiccated pages, the text catches your eye. We found evidence today that the Anvil of the Void was not built in the Orton Taig. We will go south to the Dead Trenches. The Anvil is somewhere beyond. My soldiers tell me I am mad, that the Dead Trenches are crawling with Darkspawn, that we will surely die before we find the Anvil. If we find it. I leave this here in case they're right. If I die in the trenches, perhaps someone can yet walk past my corpse and retrieve the Anvil. For if it remains lost... So do we all. If I have not returned and Ogryn yet lives, tell him... No. What I have to say should be for his ears alone. This is my farewell. 
Ranko was thinking about me. I knew she still cared. Old softy. Looks like the dead trenches is our next stop then. They say the Darkspawn nest there. Whole herds of them. But if that's where Bronco went, then that's where I'm going. All right. Here I am. Yep, here you are. Novice Dwemer Ruin. And small rattle, small rattle, small metal round shield. Finished. My mouth was trying to combine metal and round. I guess. Anyway, uh, we're gonna throw that into junk because we don't need it. Great swords. It might still be junk, but I'm not gonna decide that right away. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't need that. We know that for a fact. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, I think that's everything I'm going to be able to get here. I forgot to check my actual inventory amount. I'm at 58. Okay, I should be fine. If I continue onwards, I should be fine. The dead trenches. Away we go. Can't wait to see what we find in here. A lot of dark spawn. And a Dargan! Well, at least we're living up to the name of the game with the big old Dargan. Commanding the dark spawn. Well, fuck. Well, fuck. We in trouble. <laughs> but now we at least have a glimpse of what our enemy is. What the? Oh. Ow. Okay. That hurt a little. That's fine. And we're going to take out this one. Hi there. Well, we got more coming in. Okay. Okay. Can we actually do the combat that I'm asking you to do? Please. There we go. And a Genlock Alpha. There we go. Oh. I'm get you a ladder so you can get off my back. I'll get on it. Go after you. There we go. Take care of you. Take care of you. And take care of Ow. You. Herlock. Herlock and Genlock. I'm fighting a lot of these today. Right. 
but that looks like all of them. Good. Means I can double back and loot. Concentrated death root extract. Okay. Definitely going to throw that into junk because I ain't going to use that. Not anytime soon, anyway. And we got Cardal. A Trasvala, Grey Warden. I've never seen one of your kind in the deep roads. And yet you don't sound surprised. In the Legion of the Dead, we abandon our lives to be free of fear, free ah. of hope, of blindness. Becoming blind is obvious to us. The surprise is not that you have come, but that you have come in so small a number. Mm. What do you want here, Warden? Yeah. Makes sense. I am Tomas, and I'm looking for allies. It's an odd tactic, recruiting from the front line. The dark spawn pitched their camps in our tunnels between your blights, you know. Mm -hmm. Give me a dwarven reason to look topside. I need to find Paragon Bronca. Who put this dull idea in your head? We got other things to worry about in Orzammar. Ah, now I see. The Deep Lords in the Assembly can't make up their minds, so the pretenders need added influence. I get that right? Yeah? So give me a better idea. It's not my job to shore up the Assembly chasing dead legends. The Legion holds a line so those fools have time to put an ass on the throne. After that, we'll be the first into the dead trenches. Might even tackle your blight, though that's a surfacer's problem. You want to go digging blind? You go right ahead. Fair enough. Your armor design is incredibly interesting, and I love it. I, I, I can't... I, <laughs> Honestly, I've been unable to not look at it because it's so good. I love it. It looks fantastic. There's nothing about it I don't like. <laughs> anyway... Um, tell me more about the Legion of the Dead. We die in the eyes of our brothers so we can fight without fear. It offers redemption for the promise of the greatest sacrifice. That's all you need to know. To say more invites judgment. Or worse, imitation. Fair enough. Ever heard of the Anvil of the Void? Like dusters have heard of respect. Never seen it. And if it exists, it wasn't meant for me. But if you're looking for paragons, mm. you may as well look for the Anvil. And endless lyrium. You should be more concerned about the coming blight. Why? The other kingdoms only care when the dark spawn march in the light. But they are always here. Always pushing. Your nightmare is my every day. Our resolve gives you a rest between blights. The surge on the surface would give us a break. When the time comes, I'll care for a good dwarven reason. Sod the rest. You know what? That's more than fair. I can't even fault you for that. Goodbye. Good luck, Grey Warden. Thank you. More than I expected. Orzammar History Chapter 2. Didn't even know I had a Chapter 1. Oh, I do. Alright. Cool. I'll read that later. No end to these blasted things. Nah, there never is, is there? There we go. Get you out. No. You. Stop it. Stop it. Yep. Goodbye. And we're going to take you out. Goodbye. And. Alright, you did it for me. Thank you. More quartz. And further on, I'm sure we'll find more of them. Of course we do. Ho, mama. Hello, ogre. How you doing? Ow. I was going to... Ow. Ow. At least Ogryn is dealing with the archers. Okay. Nope. Okay. He needs a little healing, too. It didn't end up working all that well for him. And she needs a little more lyrium in her system to help her with healing. 
All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. And goodbye. Well, that could have gone worse. That was expertly planned on their part. I've got to give them props. An ogre, then flanked by archers. Yeah, that was going to go well for them. Just not well enough. Runestone for just a lot of... Who? Just a lot of Nagat. The blight is building, though it is though it is years from being named by the surface. But the memories know the signs. The Legion has lost Bonamar. Though in truth, it was lost to the living long ago. The spawn are moving freely and have numbers even the memories haven't seen. They will surge, release. We will fortify and follow. That is the way, and will always be so. Until we fall and the surface wonders what has changed. Interesting. Looks like there's something over here, too. Which, I'm definitely going to pick that up. Darkspawn Longsword. Okay. Picked up junk. Wahoo. I'll toss that away. Alrighty. Is there anyone who even bothers using anything of the Darkspawn? Now that I think about it? Oh, well, hi there. Didn't expect you to follow me. Gray Warden, I'll give you credit for backbone. Dug a line through the spawn. Still no sense in your head, but you've got skill. Thank you. Fair enough. Good luck, Gray Warden. Thank you. I wonder if they're actually going to follow me pretty much the entire way. That is an interesting question. One I don't have an answer to. Maybe they will. And an autosave. Well, in that case, turn that on. And then turn that on. Yep, <laughs> there's apparently enemies up that way. Question is where? straight ahead. Yep. Had a feeling. Technically got it. Okay. I stun you. What are you doing? What are you doing, Leliana? What the hell's bells was that? What in the ever-loving fuck was that? Alright. That was weird. But whatever. Okay. And... Oh, the acid flask goes up top. I keep forgetting that these are in alphabetical order. If they're equipped or not. Interesting. Where am I now? Ow. Well, hi there. Well, now these are coming. Well, this is stunned now. Okay. Ow. That hurt a little. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. I keep doing that when I mean to do this. I'm annoyed at myself more than anything else. Alrighty. And there's a metal door here. Wonder what's in... Ah! Enemies. Oh, geez. Okay. Good thing I stayed here.
Okay. Well. I'm stunned. That's a problem. Okay. Alright. You're just wandering around not doing much of anything. <laughs> Don't even know what your entire strategy was, but it was definitely not what you were hoping. Is that a helm? Sitting around a... Okay. Novice cold iron... Oh, I'm going to be getting a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh boy, I'm going to be getting a lot of stuff out of these. Boots of the Legion. Dragon bone? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. These boots leave tracks that do not hint at direction, a feature meant to affect the wearer, not a pursuer. This, there is no backward or forward. There is only now and the heroic death that is owed. Equipped in a set with Legion armor and gloves, the bonus to damage and constitution. Okay. The dead cast. Friends, we have argued long, but I would propose a different direction. It is not unprecedented that one of our numbers should end up in the Legion of the Dead. The memories attest to some bewildering falls from grace. Only his choice to volunteer has propelled this beyond mere scandal. The question we must ask is, does this serve us? The Legion has always seen the last hope of redemption. If a noble joins their number, by choice no less, this can only do good things for enrollment. And we sacrifice only one foolish member, the last of a troublesome house. His reforms are better shouted at the darkspawn than in these halls. I say let him go. This is the writ that was passed, Darius. I hope you can live with your decision, because you're lost to it now. From Assembly Minutes Regarding the Legion of the Dead, Addendum Unknown. Interesting. And it's a quest related? Huh. Undwarves' Unknown Burden. On the dwarves unknown burden. What the fuck does that even mean? Novice cold iron rune. That ain't too bad. What do we got here? Duster leather armor. Okay. Getting a lot of things. Some of them useful, some of them not. Alright, so we took these guys on. Oh, well. Oh, hi! Hello! Ah! That hurt, bitch. How dare. I could stun you. That way I kill you. There we go. That it is. That it is. There's Liliana, at least. Glad you could finally join us. Welp, there's no going across this bridge. Deep mushroom? Okay. Oh, yeah, there's definitely no going across this bridge. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Not at all. Abso-fucking-lutely not. Interesting. And I'm stunned. Because of course I am. I'm always the first one to go forward and always the first one stunned. Every time. Every goddamn time. go. Slowly work our way forward. Alright. I'm gonna take care of you. Trap triggered. Resisted? What? Where is it? Trap? There was a trap. Okay, on the shapers. Oh, that's not something I can read. Fire arrow. Not bad. Journeyman hail rune. Okay, not terrible. And I'm going to need you for this. What now? 
More fire arrows. Well, <laughs> interesting that, in fact. Um, hmm. Her other set is also fire arrows, so I'm just going to put that over here. Actually, you know what? And I'm not going to bother with that. Duster leather armor, though. Let me look at this. Huh. Duster leather armor grants a bonus to armor with the full set. It's not enough to overshadow the other stuff that she's wearing, so just move that to junk for now. Okay. Well, that's taken care of. Another sarcophagus with a dagger made of viridium. More duster leather armor. And another dagger. Alrighty. Might as well deal with most of that. Junk. And junk, junk. There we go. Although I'm getting closer and closer to where I'm going to need to deal with my inventory. One way or another. Drop right ahead. Uh, of Guess course it is. Friend? Thank you. And, uh, of course, more. Of course there is. No, you are not taking out Eliana like that. Bitch. Alright. And this is probably... Nope. Nope. This is, I was about to say, this is definitely running into traps. That was what was going to happen here. Okay. Fuck you. Go down. Oh, damn. I was for sure that was going to hit this one, too. But I guess it didn't. Alright. Pressure plate that. Cool. And there we go. Good job. Sylvan wood short bow. Okay, that ain't too bad. Dwarven armor of red steel. That's not terrible. I'll take that because I need it. Take that. Take this. Another red steel dagger. And gloves of the legion. Also in dragon bone. Again. Interesting. Uh... Wolf killer. Wolf killer is better than this short bow. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's no way. There's no way I'm justifying that. Okay. With that in mind, though, the further I get, the heavier my inventory is going to get. You know what? You know what? It's probably for the best now that I head back and deal with my inventory. Because I have way too much in my pockets. I can at least only head slightly back and talk to Ruck and I can offload it there. Instead of going all the way back. But... Huh. Nope, that's that's the way I needed to go. Not that way. <laughs> that was faster. <laughs> okay. So we're going to have to back up just a little bit. And offload my crap. But because that's pretty much going to be the majority of this trip, I'm just going to fast forward it. So I'll see y'all in a bit. So I see you are quite the little deceiver after all finally decided to gloat, have you? It simply suits my view of the Chantry that one of their devoted sisters should turn out to be so full of hypocrisy. There are good people in the Chantry. Many good people who are just there to help others. And apparently at least a few who are simply pretending to be good. At least I was trying to be better than I was. At least I regretted the evil I'd done. Better that than be someone who's never loved anyone or anything, least of all herself. 
anything but that. It seems at least you got the self-righteousness down, Pat. Well done. All right, here we are at Ruck's Cave. I had to share that little snippet while I was traveling because it was fairly interesting and I didn't want to have you guys miss out on that little conversation. Let's term it that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's sell things to Ruck now. Good friend is back. A good friend won't make Ruck remember the light. How can Ruck help the friend? Uh, trade. For you, yes? Yes. Good, 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 good. Uh, Shield of the Legion. Is this a... It's a Tarsh. Uh, I was about to say. I uh, didn't think it would be all that good. Could sell this, though. Pretty sure I don't need this. Um... Yeah, I was about to say, ogryn has got heavy armor. There's no reason to n not sell this, really. And sell all my junk. Good. Um, this is all okay. Don't need the venom. There we go. Um, trying to knock it down a little further if I can. Uh, boy, how do I do that? Uh, one of these... One of these. And I guess that's good enough. Most everything I'll need to actually go topside for, so. Huh. Damn. Dwarven armored. <sighs> damn. Damn to damn, damn, damn. Okay. Not gonna work out as well as I hoped. But, still. Got rid of at least 19... No? 17? No? 16 items that I didn't need to have in my inventory, so there's that. Alright, time to head back, but... By that point, when I get back, it'll be the end of the episode anyway, so I might as well just end it for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to find my way out of here because god damn it's a maze. But also just fighting my way through the dead trenches after basically conquering Orton Taig. And uh, that one big evil creature that was separated into parts and we just outright killed it for good. I was hoping for a little bit more loot after killing it, but it is what it is. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Just basically fighting our way through the dead trenches now and getting as much loot as we can. Which, we've gotten a decent amount of armor for the Legion stuff. Here's hoping we can continue getting that and we can outfit well for all i know we can outfit uh ogryn with it that'd be interesting definitely be something cool and uh yeah basically it fighting our way through the dead the deep roads and the dead trenches sooner rather than later for you